about uh, you know during your career here, you've always had uh, you know the, the older players who kind of stood out and, and, and made plays and were counted on. But now it seems like you know you're going to be one of those players to to be you know in those shoes in that role this year. Just kind of wondering, you know, is that a step up for you? Is it uh, you know how do you take that on this year? Um, I just think when I was like young, I looked up to all the older people because they were just really good athletes and they respected the younger people and they wanted to help out the younger people. So now that I'm a senior, I just see so much potential in like the younger kids and I just want to help them out, you know? So I feel like it's a good role and like responsibility I have, but yeah, I'm it's, always looking out for them. You know, I've always kind of wondered, I mean, it might be maybe more fun to, to be that under, not maybe not underrated, but just the, the player is not keyed on so much, and then all of a sudden you're you're being keyed on. I'm just kind of wondering, you know, which one is better? Which one is are you more comfortable with? Uh, like which one would I? Uh, in terms of being, you know, a player who's not being keyed on, as opposed to uh, being a player that everyone's going to start, you know, defending Honestly, really. I don't really have a <laughs> preference. I mean, <laughs> I would like for people not to know about me so I can <laughs> play well, but. I mean, I'm just gonna play the same way regardless. Like every game, you know. Yeah. Just play all right. so, and then, however opponents take it, then yeah. That's it. So it's not a different mindset. No. Yeah. No. Ask Nikki. This I'll ask you. Each team kind of takes on an identity, mm -hmm. and she said she doesn't know yet until you get out there and play. Do you have an idea or a feel of what type of team you're gonna be this year with the new guys, new girls you got, and the team that come back? Um. Well, I know last year we were such a tight, like close-knit team and we were all friends and we're just all together. And, and I feel like it's just going to be the same this year. Like, that's one thing Izzo always says, like, um, like before every year is just togetherness and it's just a family environment, you know? So I just feel like that's what it's going to be like this year. And I feel like we're all, we're not going to have like any like problems or stuff. We're all like sisters, I feel like, you know, so. But it's an interesting nine freshmen. Yeah. A lot in between. I mean, that's yeah. how do you blend all that? Um, honestly, no one thinks about like nine yeah. seniors, nine freshmen. It's just kind of like this is our team, and you know, like we're just playing together every day. It's never like, oh, she's a freshman, she's a senior. You know, we just kind of just do our own thing. We're all people, and all teammates. So. You got some of them here in the spring already, right? And you got some transfers. <coughs> How about the new people? How are they fitting in from what you've seen? Um, they're fitting in pretty good. Like we had um, some pickup games throughout the week and stuff, so they got a chance to play with us, and they're fitting in pretty good. And they're fit. You know, it's kind of hard to come in as a freshman like being like fit. So they're actually like decently fit. Are they going to be ready <laughs> to play defense the way Nikki wants them to play defense? Um, well, they're going to have to. So. <laughs> no choices, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> How tough was it for you to, to adjust to that? Everybody wants to score goals. Yeah. Wants to, and um, I don't know. It's just a mentality. Like, she just focuses on, like, defense wins games and stuff like that. And I got that in my mindset or in my head, like, early freshman year. Like, you got to defend. Like, you got to work hard and stuff. So the new people, they'll, like, get the hang of it. You know, because that's just what she wants and stuff like that, and that's helped us win so many games and like championships and stuff. Look at that early schedule. You got a, a lot of good teams. I think yeah. I counted up between the, your conference and non-conference, like 14 Power Five yeah. teams on your schedule. It's pretty tough. You ready for this? Yeah, we are. I mean, it's like any other season. Every season is tough. We have a lot of tough games and stuff like that, but we're ready. It's just a new season, and we're so excited. We have so many new people. So we're just ready to get on the field and get at it. Last year, you guys started the year number one. And I don't think you're going to start the year this year number one. But you're going to, did you guys, you think looking back on it, did you guys, how do you think you reacted to it and handled the being number one and having that target on your back? Um, we just knew that since we were number one, people are going to like just see us as like the powerhouse and try to take us down more. And that kind of like, helped us play harder and like work harder because we don't want people to take our spot, you know? And that's kind of the same for this year. Like whether we're number one or not, it's the same mentality, you know? Like people see West Virginia as like a really good team. So people want to take our spots all the time. So we're just gonna do what we always do every year. How about in the league? You know, those, <coughs> those teams want to beat the Mountaineers in Big 12, yeah. you know? You get that sense as a player that they're giving a little extra every time? Yeah, they always try to beat us. Um, but, 
Um, like I said, we just do the same thing we do every year. There's some good teams in the Big 12, and they're all on the come up. So I just feel like we just got to keep being focused and keep working hard. Well, you got to be on your A game every game, yeah. too, because they're coming after you. Yeah. yeah. When you guys have coming back defensively, we obviously Riley and Goal and then the defenders. And, mm -hmm. uh, how much of that can you lean on early? Uh, now that you guys have you know a lot of experience in the defense to start out with. Um. Well, I've been playing with like that back line and Riley like my whole almost like my whole college career. So I put my life always in their hands. You know, I trust them with everything, and even if I don't have like one of them back there, I'm trusting someone else on the team. You know, it's just. This whole team is about trash. I trust anyone who comes on the field and takes the position up, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, um, I don't know, it's just like a trust thing. And I have full confidence in anyone that comes on the field or like plays or whatever. What's it take to have a good back? <coughs> especially like at, at this, yeah, especially at this level. Um, well, you gotta be fit. <laughs> um, <laughs> You gotta be like determined. Like Bianca's a great example of like her fight all the time. Like she's always exhausting herself after every single game, you know. So she's like one of the players I have so much confidence in because she just gives it her all for the team. She doesn't put anyone else. Like she just like just gives it all for the team. So I feel like she's a great example of like how you know a person on the backline should be.